This is an updated tutorial on how to install Battlefield to revive project on your Linux PC. Uh, I am updating this tutorial because uh, the revival team uh, developers decided to use Net Framework 4.5 in their launcher. And uh, for now, Wine doesn't support Net Framework 4.5. And because of this, I decided to update the tutorial because it doesn't work anymore and the revival project team was super helpful in finding in helping me find the solution anyway i'm talking about this tutorial uh, we need to update it and uh, here's the project page the revival project page and i should encourage you to support the team because they're super nice and very nice project anyway first thing we need to do is make sure that our pc is capable of running this game and uh, register on a uh, revival project project page you need to register it to be able to download uh, their, their, their game that's all is that okay so register it and then download Play and Linux if you don't already have it downloaded. Go to Downloads. I'll link everything in the description below. Well, I'm using Ubuntu so I'll download this and you can download whatever version you need. So download it and install it. Okay. After you downloaded and installed Play and Linux, we need to download, uh, go to, uh, go to home or downloads uh, and press download battlefield 2 and we need to download the battlefield 2 full installer this not this download this press here and it will start the download and you will download this this thing and extract it extract it here make sure to put it in a place where it's uh, easy accessible for me desktop is very easy to access so save it on desktop and extract it and you will see this this is what will be inside archive okay now let's start play on linux play on linux and uh, press tools manage wine version Make sure that Wine version X86 is selected, not 64 bit. And select 1.9.12 staging. This is the latest for now, and I think it's a good idea if you will be following this tutorial uh, in the future to use the latest Wine. Okay, so let's install 1.9.12 staging next, and it will start the download. And while it's downloading and extracting, I should encourage you to support Wine and Plan Linux as well. Uh, these two projects that uh, make possible creating or using Windows software under Linux. And uh, I should point out that Metal, uh, Battlefield to Revive projects are uh, working on creating a Linux launcher and a simplified launcher for XP. So this tutorial might change as well. Okay, let's close this now and press configure, press new, next, 32 bit, uh, select whatever version you downloaded, next, I'll call it BF2, next, and it will create a wine prefix for us. Wine prefix. If it asks you to uh, install Keiko or Mono, press install. Okay, great. Now select BF2 and press install components and find DX full setup. DX full setup and press install. Uh, in your case, it might start to download. Start the download first and then uh, the installation. In my case it's 
uh, already downloaded, so it's just installing uh, uh, DirectX on this system. Okay. Okay. It finished installing DirectX full DirectX, and now we need to install Battlefield 2 Revive project. For that, press missile and use and press run and exe file in a virtual drive. Let's go to desktop and I have saved it here and release and run setup exe. Run setup exe. Open and it will start the installer. Press install and it will start to install Battlefield 2 on your PC. After it's finished installing, it will show you this uh, window and uncheck launch and press finish. Now we need to enter our CD key that we get on the, oh, oh, on our revival, Battlefield 2 revival page. When we register, we get a CD key. So go to Battlefield revival page and uh, Press uh, account settings, and there will be get better feel, better lock key. Press it, and you will see uh, your key. Okay, copy it, copy, and paste it in this window and in this window. In both, uh, uh, paste it in both uh, top and bottom. Uh, window, not window, whatever they are, and then press apply. So uh, paste it, copy, 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 and press apply, and then press close. Now it will start to update Punkbuster. Uh, it will start the punk buster update okay press finish here and next step is to create a uh, shortcut and we'll be creating a uh, pf2 rgx shortcut uh, i'll be linking this while we are creating pf2 uh, rgx uh, shortcut okay Let's minimize this and press general. Make a new shortcut from this virtual drive. And uh, let's select pf 2 rgxexe pf 2 rgxe Press next. 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 Okay, press cancel here now. And now we need to run this game in virtual uh, try a virtual window. That means it will be playing this game in a windowed mode. Press for that, press wine, configure wine. Uh, okay. Press graphics. Select whatever resolution you are planning on to run this game and press emulate to draw the stop and enter it. I'm, tr I'm gonna run it in 720p. And make sure to press this as well, check this as well. Automatically capture the mouse on you. Apply, okay. And finally, uh, we need to change a few settings in Battlefield, uh, uh, Battlefield because uh, they are pretty pointless and uh, I'm gonna uh, link the, I'm gonna link the troubleshooting web page as well uh, if you have problems uh, with your with your with your this game I'm gonna post a forum thread on battlefield 2 revival project on troubleshooting this game so let's start this game from here or from here i'm going to start it from here let's close this we don't need this anymore press run and uh, i'm going to 
tell you a few settings that you need to change. Okay. Uh, there is two settings. You should disable anti-aliasing because it doesn't work. And you should set the terrain quality to uh, minima because they, it cause glitches. Now press play multiplayer, accept, uh, revert account, uh, nickname, enter your nickname on or whatever you registered on revival project, then enter password, remember password and press revert account. And we managed to log in in the game, which is fabulous. And if this crashes, you can very easily disable, close this, and start the game all over again, and it should work. Okay, I think I'm gonna Alt F for this shit. Or no, let's try different thing. Okay. Let's kill. We have two wine kill processes. Okay, let's try to start it all over again. Okay, it took me a few tries, but as you can see, it worked. And after you connect it to it once, then you won't have any problem for pre okay, close this. And I'm gonna tell you the settings you need to change options, uh, video, and make sure that anti aliasing is off. And uh, where's the terrain quality to low? Everything else is up to you. So Let's move this, let's run this in 720p, apply, let's move this, ok, cancel, not cancel, ok, if you see this press here, ok, ok, as you can see it's full screen again, and uh, let's press multiplayer, and as you can see it runs, let's select an empty server to play on, Updating servers. I want an empty server with a decent ping. Why not? And press join, and as you can see, I will be able to play on this game in this game with this thing. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. Uh, take care. Best of luck and make sure to support all of these projects who made this thing possible. Take care.